Hi Capricorn, welcome to your unexpected reading for December 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Astro Queen. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Capricorn, what do we got? It's your unexpected for December. Oops. Page of Cups, okay. Death, all right, so we've had some changes here. Uh-oh, I hear my cat coming with gifts. <laughs> Page of Swords, Seven of Cups. I like that better. Page of Wands. Seven of Swords. All right, let's see who we're dealing with here. Whoopsie. So you're going to be transitioning out of something for the next couple of months. That's, that's for Capricorn. What are you dealing with? And there's Capricorn. So this is, okay. This is you. All right, so could be dealing with a another Capricorn um, or a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but could very well be. All right, this you need to lay low because this is a time where you're going to be internally processing something and transitioning. So this is a time for you to kind of be blending in with the crowd and gathering information and not being on anybody's radar. Holy cow, we got three pages. That's a lot of um, being behind the scenes here. So things are, there's been an ending and it's not over and you need to lay low because this is all about you needing to just kind of do For out of, of self-preservation, minimal involvement. What's this page of swords? There might be some disappointment here, but all is not lost. This is a setback and you need to re-strategize and reroute. What's this page of swords about? Yeah, laying low. Okay. So we got the chariot. That could be Cancerian. What's this queen of pentacles about? The lovers, all right. It'd be Gemini, Taurus, or Libra, Cancerian. It's a seven of cups. The seven of cups. Two sevens, wow. Three of wands. So we've got things in disruption and basically things are in crisis. For um, what's shown up here is we've got things being at unrest. Like there's kind of disagreements and there might be some bickering. And there's going to be a need for you to withdraw. And to only, um, for this situation, only engage when it's absolutely necessary. And indirectly if you can, which is, uh, you know, text or email or through a third party or just, you know, what is going on here? What's this page of wands? This page of wands. Three of pentacles and then this jumped. Three of cups reversed. So on its face, it could be you're um, involving yourself with someone uh, romantically with someone at work. There could have just been like a, a dalliance at work. And maybe that's what the conflict is here is it's like, oh, okay, it didn't work out and you're needing to lay low because of some drama it might have created, but that's obviously very specific. Um, I think this is different though. I think this is connected to family or like one side of a family. Um, this is somebody you've been involved with. 
So what is, what's his seven of swords about? Another seven over here too. What's his seven of swords for Capricorn? Whoa, seven of swords and seven of swords. Okay, uh, yeah, laying low. Um, you are going to be, need to be as not anonymous as possible. And it's almost like you're going to need to recede back into the background and wear camouflage if you can. I don't know why the call for being stealthy, um, and having to plan and be strategic, but it's here. Um, there's perhaps there has just been a major ending or a major shift and you're needing to practice some self care. Uh, as well as not be um, really, so maybe the withdrawal is about needing to just practice some self-care and just kind of finally have some time to grieve and let down, but also um, adjust and also not making any big decisions right now. Uh, it's, it's like everything needs to just kind of calm down and lay low. It's like the calm after the storm. So whatever is going on, the worst of it's over, but now is the regrouping time and the strategizing time and the prioritizing time. And honestly, don't be surprised if some of you are just like, you know what, I need a break and I need to not have to deal with um, something right now. And you do something out of uh, the norm for yourself. Um, maybe you indulge a little bit too much. Maybe there's something that you're like, I can't believe I did that. And that guilt or shame on top of that. But don't <laughs> don't you kind of were due for a break or maybe you let loose one night or something you know just but that that's small potatoes compared to what you have just gone through so please don't be beating yourself up over that um all right so i think this is about you not wanting to move forward with a relationship at this time because of so much drama in another situation and you're just wanting to lay low the worst of it's over, but you've got somebody new or someone you've been kind of dealing with. And then there's this other situation, maybe it's work, but there's something you just resolved, something you just finished. Um, and it is time for you to kind of just lay low and regroup and re-strategize. What is going on out there? Oh, somebody's got their trash cans. I was like, I, I hear all this knocking around and banging and someone's just trying to clean up their trash cans and bring them in. It certainly was loud. Sorry, what's his death card about? Could be Scorpio. What's his death card about? Scorpio and Capricorn. What's his death card about? There's that transition. That's the, that's your thing. The worst of it's over and now you wait. Now you let go. You don't know what's going to happen. The, the thing is, is that you might have an inner, as far as uh, relationship or romance goes, anything you involve yourself in is not going to be um, anything you're going to want to put stock into. Um, I'm not saying that as advice. I'm saying what's showing here is that it's just going to be something that you might, it might be like a blip, but it's not going to be anything that you're going to want to invest in or put time into just because you kind of just went through something and you need a break and you don't want anything making demands on you. You really need to regroup and re-strategize re -strategize and just have it be about you and what your next moves are. And you, you're kind of keeping everybody at arm's length. Um, you, you might even find that you're not willing to be a part of any festivities this month if you're celebrating the upcoming holidays that you might want to withdraw and just do your own thing, immerse yourself in work. Um, there's a lot that has just, there's just a lot and you might have even been waiting on someone else to decide or whatever their decision was. And they actually said at this time, no. And so it might not be that it's over, but there's a huge delay and it kind of rubs you the wrong way. It, it, for some of you, it feels like more of the same and being that it's the end of the year and you're just like, you know what, maybe I need to kind of figure out what I need to do without this person because I keep getting put off by this person and I, I just, maybe I need to just be really by myself, keeping this one at bay, just dealing with whatever that was over here. And then I got my person that I'm interested in my relationship putting me off 
And maybe that's just my sign and my to focus on myself really and truly because I just had this big ordeal over here that I got through and my person is also unavailable. So you're, you're probably going to be withdrawn this month out of wanting to just focus on yourself and practice some much needed self-care and time for yourself. Because you, you don't have the security that you would like to with your, your person is not very available and whatever situation you're resolving with work or with family or somebody's been kind of grabbing at you that the worst of it's over that's still not resolved but your person is unavailable and that's kind of hitting you the wrong way and instead of you being like well okay it you kind of withdraw and it, it puts you in a bad mood and you're like you know maybe i'm in the wrong situation maybe i just need to be by myself right now and, and think about what my next moves are um, all right, what's this? What else for Capricorn? The thing is the work. Well, that's kind of your thing, isn't it? That throwing yourself into work when the going gets tough. Make sure you don't overdo it. Uh, if that's the case that you're not, you know, at the office till 11 o'clock at night, everybody else has gone home and sleeping and all their shopping's done. And you're like, oh, I don't even know what I'm feeding the kids tomorrow. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't overdo it, please. What's this for Capricorn? Queen of Swords. Okay, good. All right, so um, hmm, that could be Libra. This is a time for planning and for you needing to decide what is best for your future. Absent of this drama over here and absent of your person, you really need to focus on yourself. And the unexpected is you probably chucking both. And, and when I say chucking both, I mean you're not going to let that be much of an influence on your decision. I, it feels like you we're kind of making decisions in mind with you and your person. And instead of doing that, this is about you not even considering them. This is about you really probably much to your surprise um, and everybody's surprise. You're going to be reclusing yourself this month. You're, you're going to be taking some much needed regrouping time. Um, it's these past couple months feel like they've kind of taken a toll and when your person proves to be not available also, you go into, um, you know, strategic mode, like, all right, I really can't, I can't rely on anybody else right now. I'm just going to hunker down, figure out what my next moves are and, and keep it for my best interest. And I'm, I'm going to make decisions based on me and my own versus me and my person that is now not available to me. And I'm frustrated by, I think you were holding out for, I think there's been a lot of waiting for this person and that has recently changed and you're like, you know what, there's, I, I can't anymore. I can't, I can't be making a decision or making decisions about my life with you in mind when you're continually not available for me and when your priorities are elsewhere, I can't do it. And I think that comes on the heels of you having gone through something pretty major and the worst of it's over. And yet you just, you don't, uh, on the heels of that and then your person's like well I said you're like I just I can't anymore I can't so I think the your you withdrawing is going to be what's um the unexpected here is just focusing on work and focusing on yourself and and not having that focus is going to shift from other from um family from drama from everything to just you being like you know what I can't anymore I can't with this and I can't with the uncertainty over here. And you go into um, logical, planning, decisive, uh, organized mode because of the lack of stability over here and the fallout over here. And again, the good news is the worst is over. It's still going to be an issue. Whatever has ended, the, whatever has prompted the need for you to focus on yourself is still going to be an issue. But... It becomes an active decision rather than just like a default, like, okay, that person is done with me. Now I can get to my business, right? It's, it's not just that. That's kind of like, that's what I mean by passive decision. It becomes an active decision where, okay, yeah, that's done. And I don't have this over here. So now I am choosing to focus on myself. I'm not waiting anymore, passively waiting. And I'm not passively going, okay, thank you for being done with me. Now I can, you're doing like this. And it, it's about you focusing on yourself. Uh, it feels like it's much needed, like the time has come. 
and you're, but yeah, it's about you not letting anybody else know what your next move is. This is, you really do need to be strategic and to be, um, there's been a shift and you need to be strategic. You need to start tending to much needed self-care and emotional self-care. Um, it's simply time. And as far as laying low, it's interesting because part of it is because you really do need to, honestly, you need to take a break. Honestly, slow down if you can, as much as you can, please just kind of just no demands on yourself, no obligations. If you don't feel like going to a gathering, don't you're exhausted, but you also need to be able to think about what you want to do for the future. So instead of going to that gathering that you're like meh about, stay home and think and strategize and watch a movie and, and whatever, or do something you want to do. And in that lightness and you finally getting a choice, you're going to find that you'll be able to start that the clouds will clear and you'll be able to start to develop a plan of action. But if you're going, going, going and doing like you always did, uh, -uh it's not going to happen. This is this. I know there's not a lot of major arcana here, but it feels like there's a profound shift of you focusing on this and this and then bringing the focus back to yourself and what your next moves need to be. How many times am I going to say that? Wow. Capricorn. Time to collaborate. And we have the three of pentacles here. The C and that that's in direct opposition to me being like lay low. Nobody needs to know what your plans are now. This is about you receding into the background, taking some time for yourself and you privately strategizing about your own life. And here we have time to collaborate and three of pentacles. Fine. I, I disagree. <laughs> I think this is about you figuring out, um, and maybe this is with trusted family members or tr like your tribe, but I don't think this is about you collaborating with your person or with whatever just ended over here, the, the calm after the storm and now you're friends again, which you're not. Um, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with making nice. It is what it is. It's going to be managed and that's all that it is. And then with whatever the romantic um, attachments are, your person, I don't think this is a time to involve them. I really don't. But if that is more in keeping with what, um, what fits your situation, obviously this could be about collaboration, but, or, or when I say collaboration, I mean like, um, talking about what, what are we, what are we going to do next? What do you want to do? But I disagree. I have to, I strongly disagree. I think this is a time for you to be under yourself and thinking about your next move for your life. You've been waiting for this person long enough and they're still unavailable. Something their their situation is not resolved. And I really do feel like it's that. I really do feel like um it's it's a situation that's just gonna be ongoing for them. And you've been put on hold long enough. I just feel like you need to take your attention back from that and focus on yourself. I'm not calling them bad. I just I feel like they're continually um besieged and you're like i have just been through something i can't sit there and and go through it again with you or i i, I need my life to be my own again i don't want to wait anymore i've waited and and been in service of long enough and if i am going to be in service of it, it needs to be for my benefit there needs to be a shift and that's i think the surprise or the unexpected here for uh december for you capricorn is that you're you're taking your attention and your time and your devotion back you're just withdrawing and laying low. All right, what else? But again, if this, the whole collaboration thing fits about, if it is about you having a conversation with someone to decide what you both want to do, fine. I disagree, but I mean, it's, you know, maybe this, for me, this would be for you, with your tribe or trusted people. Like, okay, what do you think? But even then, collaborate on what? Hmm. What else for Capricorn? You need to you need to be able to take a break and to rest. Oof. 
and it's not a bad thing. I don't want it to, I know that I, with the tone of my voice and I, I'm not all frilly and laughy and all that most of the time, but, um, the thing is, is that this can actually be a much needed break that you're just like, actually, I'm not going to do that this year. Um, so, and so I'm not going to be going to the party. I'm going to just take a two week long break for me. And I'm probably going to have a couple of pajama days and falling asleep on the couch and eating cookie dough and, or whatever. I mean, whatever that looks like, but it doesn't have to be like you withdraw out of spite and loneliness or anything. This could be a much needed break, taking time for yourself while letting a major, huge, um, victory or the calm after the storm settle in. And then it's about re-strategizing and this you need to. So that's going to take precedence over socializing, over being able to be available socially for everybody and the demands that are made on you as much as you can. Please try to mitigate that just because you've been through it and you're not, it's just, you need time for yourself. 10 of pentacles, nine of wands that whatever this just resolved, whatever this is over here, it is what it is. But for your person, it feels like this issue of security is going to be a sore spot because you're like, you know what? We've been here before and we keep, and I just, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of things being on hold for us. That's what the issue is right here. Just saying. I feel like I keep needing to say, take some time for yourself. Take some time for yourself. Take, I'm not going to say it anymore because I already said it. All right, Capricorn. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope that you have a productive and um, self-care <laughs> December. I hope you're able to get the time you need to be able to think about this transition and to strategize. Um, don't be afraid to say no or to withdraw and take care of yourself instead of being in service of everybody else. Surprise yourself and say no. <laughs> Um, much love to you, and I thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.